Should you upgrade to the A6700 from this A6600? Let's get into it. Alpha 6600 is a phenomenal camera. Don't forget that. Now, with that on the table, should you upgrade to a 6700 or even an FX30? Let's look into that a little further. If you've got a 6600 and you're thinking about upgrading to a 6700 or maybe an FX30, before you do that, consider this. I would upgrade this camera for photography reasons alone. If all you're doing is shooting photographs, you're using the video here and there for your own little documentation purposes, or you're just really getting into the video side of things, I would not upgrade from a 6600. Straight and simple, there it is. If you were to upgrade, you're only gaining a few things in improvement for photography, but the real big difference is gonna be in the video. If you're gonna upgrade from a 6600 for video reasons to a 6700 or an FX30, by all means, go for it. The FX30, which I'm currently shooting on, is a phenomenal camera. I absolutely love mine. The one thing keeping me away from this 6600 are the video specs. I want to shoot more video. I would like to have a top-down rig. While this camera can do it just fine, I'd rather spend and invest my money on a 6700 than the 6600, which is one of the main reasons why I won't buy a 6600. Although, it is one heck of a bargain. Stick around, I'll have a video later about bargain basement pricing on a 6600. But I have a list here, let me read it to you real quick. If you're gonna buy a 6600, here is a list of reasons you'll get a better camera for photography on a 6700. The first off, it comes with a new 26 megapixel sensor. You gain a whopping two megapixels more. Not enough to justify an upgrade. Faster buffer speeds. If you're shooting raw, you go from like a 46, 48 buffer on the raw to a 59. That's not bad. It's almost a whole second of improvement. Not worth it. If you're shooting just JPEGs, you get 116 JPEG shots with this camera before the buffer runs out. On the 6700, it's a thousand. That's a huge improvement. Is it worth it? No. I've never seen a reason to shoot that many JPEGs. You have a 1 8,000th shutter versus the A6600's 1 4,000th shutter. Oh, and by the way, that's only electronic, not mechanical. Not worth it. You have one extra stop of negative metering range from negative two to a negative three. Again, not worth it. You get a awesome four three aspect ratio added to it to shoot photographs in. Not worth it. Crop it. Why would I why would I upgrade for that? It's not no. You get the addition of the HEIF file, the heath, the hyph, whatever. If you watched the last video, I didn't know. I still don't know. I wouldn't upgrade for that alone. My FX30 does it. I've never turned it on. I wouldn't buy it. Now if you have a purpose for it, great. I don't see it. UHS2 card slot for photography. You don't need it. It may be needed for the buffer but you don't need it for photography. It's a video thing. You don't need it for photography. So the UHS-2 card is just gonna be a more expensive card you're not gonna to wanna to pay for. Why spend the money on it? Oh, you get a nice USB-C port for photography. What's that gonna give you? All the accessories are still on the Sony multi-interface port, a micro USB, not worth it. You have a slightly better monitor at one point. Oh, 3 million dots versus this mere 921,000 dot. Not worth it. You get a slide flippy screen. Okay, that one might be worth it for photography. The main reason is at night when you're shooting ver vertical portraits like this, um, well, I can't see the screen. I gotta like, I gotta get down underneath it. Put my tripod's up like this and I'm, I'm looking and I can't get under there. It sucks. The side little flip out, perfect angle, nice and comfortable. Click, click, click. Love it. I love the side flip out screen for photography for that reason. What I don't like about it 
is shooting like this with it sticking out. It's in the way of my natural hold and I just don't care for it. I, I don't like it. I still like this little flip screen back here. This one goes vertical. So when you're taking pictures of yourself, you can see yourself. You can do that with the side one too. But I much rather prefer the tilt of the back of this right here versus the side flip out. Ultimately, it means I gotta buy an A7 or 5 or a new A93. Uh, not gonna be worth it for a photography reason to upgrade from an A6600, I don't think. Well, may, maybe it is for you, but uh, not worth it. The autofocus, oh, it's much, much better. You get 759 points of phase detect autofocus versus the mere 425 of the 6600. It's not worth it. Oh, it's lighter than the 6600 by 10 grams. It's not worth it. So if you are buying a 6700 to upgrade from your 6600, which is a phenomenal piece of equipment, and all you're doing is taking pictures, buy a lens, buy more glass. Don't upgrade the body, please. Buy a good quality lens, stick with your 6600. You'll be far happier in the, in the long run. Now, if you are going to be shooting video or you do shoot video or you are a videographer and you've been rocking this on a gimbal for a while by all means sell that 6600 and buy yourself a 6700 for the video features you will absolutely love having 10-bit video footage to work with if you've been working with eight i went the other way and bought an fx30 basically the same camera but in a cinema camera body format absolutely love my fx30 and it does a fantastic job working for me in that aspect. So if you were going to buy an upgraded 6700 versus the A6600 for video, hands down, do it. If you're doing it for photos, it's not worth it. With that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button for me on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the bell too, that helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Or join me live Monday nights, 9 p.m. Central. I go live. And if if I don't make it, I don't make it. But some I'm very consistent at making it. And I'll be on. So you want to chat in the chat? You got questions? Anything update about these cameras, about these videos? Hit me up there. It's a great spot to connect with me. If you want to talk face to face, we can do that too. But with that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.